Is there a TV pairing that's been more unexpectedly delightful than Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart? There's a lot fans already know about the pair, but there are still many facts to discover about their relationship. The truth about Martha and Snoop is out. Keep on watching to learn all about it. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg first met when he appeared on The Martha Stewart Show in 2008. The quirky chemistry fans would come to know and love on potluck dinners was on full display even then, as Martha tasked him with peeling potatoes. Naturally, she had to tell him he was doing it wrong. Just the skin, look, this. You just peel the skin off. Oh, see? you want me to take the skin in yeah, off of it? Yeah, the skin <laughs> Whatever. It is the easy rapport between Martha and Snoop was almost uncanny, especially when she quizzed him about being the inventor of his distinctive vocabulary. When she asked if Snoop Dogg's kids understood him, he deadpanned, no, they don't, eliciting spontaneous chuckles from Martha. And you know what's crazy, Martha? What? I don't even understand it, so that's oh. the great part about it. <laughs> Martha and Snoop recounted the event in an interview with Today. What an odd couple we were. We fit right in. You know, cooking with Martha it just seemed like the right space to be in. Teaming up with Martha Stewart in the kitchen is not for the faint of heart. As Martha had demonstrated for decades, she can be painstakingly meticulous when it comes to food preparation. As she admitted in a chat with Entertainment Weekly, I can get a little bossy, but I try to be a good teacher. This is a truth that Snoop Dogg was quick to learn. In the same interview, he explained, Do what Martha says, that's the rule in the kitchen. If I was in the recording studio, I direct and I lead. And this is her studio, so I expect her to take the lead and show me where I need to be." While Snoop's fans may have been surprised to see the gin and juice rapper team up with TV's ultimate domestic diva for a cooking show, Snoop himself was not. He said, "...I've always had an open mind on where I could go. I never had a cap or a limit on what I could do." Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart's friendship isn't something manufactured for the cameras. In fact, the duo occasionally get together when they're not working. Such was the case in 2018 when Martha invited her co-star over for lunch at her home in Bedford, New York. After that visit, Snoop was interviewed by Howard Stern, who asked how real his relationship with Martha was, and Snoop insisted their friendship was as real as it gets. Snoop reiterated his feelings in an interview with Today. I love Martha like I love her, like for real." That affection is mutual, as Martha expressed her admiration for Snoop's laid-back energy and his outspokenness. She also praised his comedic timing and skill in the kitchen. When Martha Stewart launched her first TV show, Martha Stewart Living, her intent was to demonstrate to viewers the best way to undertake various household activities with Martha's style aplomb. As she explained in an interview with People, "...when I was starting with my television show, it was a teaching show. It was a straightforward, Martha wants to show you the exact best way to do something." Since then, Martha admitted she's become more comfortable relinquishing control. That's certainly applicable when co-hosting a show with Snoop. She shared, when you work with someone like Snoop, it's like having a sidekick. How great it is! That's why all the comedians have sidekicks and bands, because it loosens them up and lets them be freer. Snoop is my freedom." Snoop Dogg's intake of marijuana is legendary. As Martha Stewart told People, "...his weed habit can keep things unpredictable." She did admit, however, that it can be, quote, "...kind of fun." Speaking with a Hollywood reporter, Martha explained that she's not a weed enthusiast herself, but she's, quote, never been a prude about it. She continued, "...so someone smokes marijuana. Big deal. People smoke cigarettes and die from cancer. I haven't heard of anybody dying from cannabis. I'm quite egalitarian and liberal when it comes to stuff like that." While Snoop may not have converted Martha to THC, he has made her a true believer in CBD, the non-intoxicating derivative whose devotees claim has therapeutic healing properties. In fact, when Snoop learned a rock fell on Martha's toe and she feared it was broken, he gave her CBD ointment. Snoop Dogg appeared on Martha Stewart's TV show twice, in 2008 and again in 2009. Then, in 2015, they were both tapped for the Comedy Central roast of Justin Bieber. Snoop told Today, "...she sat next to me and she stole the show. She was the funniest roaster that night. In that moment, I knew I wanted to be alongside this lady for the rest of my life." I know you're all wondering why I'm here tonight. It's because Martha Stewart changes people's lives for the better. Recalling the experience for The Late Show with Seth Meyers, Martha had an explanation for why she was so funny. Seated next to Snoop, she pointed out that, "...secondary smoke is just as powerful as primary yeah, smoke." Sure. So I was totally high by the time. <laughs> 
Martha Stewart's most notorious moment happened in 2004, when she was sentenced to five months in federal prison stemming from charges of insider trading. And while having a prison record is generally not considered advantageous, it is if you're trying to impress Snoop Dogg. As Stewart noted in an interview with CBS Sunday Morning, in Snoop's world, prison gave me the street cred I was lacking. It's no secret that Snoop has had his own brushes with the law as well, but while Snoop has indeed been to jail, it's actually Martha who spent more time behind bars. During a 2018 appearance on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, Snoop shared some of Martha's prison stories, including the surprisingly pragmatic way her magazine, Martha Stewart Living, came in handy in the slammer. She told me that uh, when she went in there, they told her to put some newspapers on her to protect herself from getting stabbed, and she was like, why not use my magazines? In a bizarre coincidence, both Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart share the dubious distinction of being barred from entering the United Kingdom. In Martha's case, she was forced to cancel a 2008 speaking engagement in London when her visa request to enter Britain was denied due to her criminal conviction. As The Independent reported at the time, the UK Border and Immigration Agency issued a statement declaring the government prohibits entry to the UK for anyone convicted of, quote, serious criminal offenses abroad. Snoop's situation was a bit different. According to the Los Angeles Times, in 2007 he was forced to cancel a British tour when he was also denied a visa. The reason? Snoop was arrested in 2006 at London's Heathrow Airport on charges of violent disorder. Specifically, Snoop and five associates were arrested after they reportedly started a brawl that injured seven police officers. However, Snoop's lawyers appealed the ban, and he eventually emerged triumphant. In 2010, after having the ban lifted and then reinstated, he was finally allowed to enter the UK. While Martha Stewart has admitted that her jail time gave her street cred with Snoop Dogg, Snoop himself backed that up when he sparked a Twitter feud with fellow rapper Takashi69. When his manager was sentenced to 15 years, Takashi reportedly decided to cooperate with authorities to reduce his sentence. This didn't sit well with Snoop, who blasted Takashi in a series of social media posts calling him a snitch. In one of these, Snoop posted side-by-side -side pics of Takashi and Martha on Instagram, writing in the caption, As we watch Takashi69, or whatever his name is, snitch on everybody, I invite you all to remember Martha Stewart snitched on not one soul during her trial. Baby girl kept it ten toes down and ate that prison sentence by herself, like the true baddie she is. Over the years, Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg have only gotten closer. Speaking with people, Snoop explained the simple reason why he and Stewart get along so well. She lets me do me and accepts me for who I am. She doesn't try to change me. Martha will always be my friend. Snoop elaborated in an interview with Rolling Stone, I've never met anyone like Martha Stewart. When we come together, it's a natural combination of love, peace, and harmony. Sally Ann Salsano, the producer of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, confirmed that the Snoop-Martha dynamic that viewers see on the show is no act. She told The Washington Post, These guys are genuinely friends, and that's why I think it works so well on screen. Throughout their association as co-stars of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, the two stars have influenced each other significantly. For Snoop, this has primarily manifested in being able to develop kitchen skills and enjoy new culinary experiences he may not have encountered without her. Snoop said in an interview with The Washington Post, She's taught me how to have better food etiquette, how to be more professional in the kitchen. On the flip side, Martha has admitted that Snoop has been instrumental in shaping her musical tastes. She revealed in the same interview, I've learned a lot about music from Snoop and our guests. He's extremely knowledgeable. He's also very amusing. However, she also boasted that her love of rap music was cemented way before she ever met her co-star, sharing that she fell in love with the genre after seeing Eminem in 8 Mile. Whenever Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart come together on the set of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party, there's one location Stewart avoids. She revealed to The Hollywood Reporter, I made a pact early on doing the show that I would never enter Snoop's domain, his trailer. The reason, she explained, is because she prefers to stay sharp for show tapings and wanted to avoid getting stoned. She admitted, I get kind of high from secondary smoke. I'm not a smoker myself, but the smoke is quite thick around the set. For Snoop, it's just business as usual. He shared with the Washington Post, Sometimes I may smoke one blunt, sometimes I may smoke 100 blunts. It depends on what's necessary for me to do what I'm doing. 
While well, Martha Stewart has occasionally gotten high just by being in the vicinity of Snoop Dogg, those occasions were inadvertent and not intentional. Martha didn't elaborate on her decision not to indulge, but Snoop offered a theory to Us Magazine. She's scared, but she gets me drunk every chance she gets. Martha confirmed that statement during an interview with Town & Country. I'm actually the cocktail mistress of the Martha and Snoop show. I make up all the cocktails and I feed them to Snoop, who's not really a drinker, so he gets totally drunk off of them. Snoop doesn't deny it, telling the Washington Post that for the cocktail-themed episodes, every episode I was drunk. Every one. The lines become that much more easier. The flow becomes natural. It's more relaxing. You're not doing a job, you're just having fun. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.